React.js. Even non-IT people have heard the name. This library is used everywhere on millions of projects every day. But why is this library still in such demand more than 10 years after its creation? Maybe it's time to give way to younger projects. Watch the video till the end to find out what features allow React to remain a top one library. You're on the Jelvix channel, weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Here we go. First, let's refresh your memory on what React is all about. In simple terms, it's a library that contains individual pieces of code for all occasions of life. They help developers create applications faster and write less code by hand. Our developers draw an analogy with the Lego constructor. Imagine that you have thousands of cubes from which you assemble the construction, which users then see on the screen. We at Jelvix love Lego. But is React.js really as popular as people say? Surely, yes. React was developed by Facebook more than 10 years ago and has been gaining popularity ever since. According to Statista, it's the second most popular framework in the world, used by almost 43% of developers who know JavaScript. What's more, programmers who have learned the framework earn, on average, 11% more than their colleagues who use vanilla JavaScript. If you look at the statistics just for interface libraries, React has been in first place in terms of usage for many years. It's used by 42% of the audience, and this is 22% more than the Angular and Vue libraries, which are in second and third place respectively. Also, the chart shows that the demand for React has only grown over time. On average, 80 to 90,000 new developers have added annually to the audience. So needless to say, thanks to such figures, React is all around us, almost everywhere. Companies like Netflix, Instagram, The New York Times, Bloomberg, Skype, Discord, and 10,752,000 other sites use it. So we can draw a simple conclusion. React is one of the most popular JavaScript frameworks that'll definitely come in handy during any project. We at Jelvix use it on many of our projects. Don't you think that React is way better than Angular and Vue.js? Share in the comments section what you think. But what makes it so unique? Well, this framework has enough features to make you want to use it. Let's sort it out in order. First of all, React is really handy. Its functionality lets developers declaratively describe what they want to see on the screen and get the desired result. The code becomes smaller, easier to read, and easier to edit. But that doesn't make it unreliable. Everything works like clockwork. Second, the library is constantly being updated with new features. If you don't have time to develop an application from scratch, you'll find everything you need here. Moreover, there's over 220,000 code packages with explanations and tips on the NPM site, all for your convenience. Third, React makes code components reusable. And let's face it, nobody wants to write the same thing over and over again. With this library, web development will transform from a hamster wheel run to a pleasant walk in the park. Work more efficiently, not harder. Fourth, React integrates easily with other libraries and frameworks, and the existence of child libraries such as React Native helps create complex cross-platform products many times faster. And finally, React is amazingly fast. In fact, React uses Virtual DOM, thereby creating web applications faster. Virtual DOM compares the component's previous states and updates only the items in the real DOM that were changed, instead of updating all of the components again as conventional web applications do. Actually, search engine crawlers don't really like React because it works with a system called CSR, client-side rendering, but this problem has a solution. We can integrate next.js with React. And in this way, we can achieve into a system called SSR, server-side rendering, which is better crawlable than a CSR page. 
We have an entire article on the Jelvix website recently devoted to breaking down React.js. There, you can learn more about the technical side of the framework. We recommend you read it. But why isn't React used by 100% of developers despite so many exciting features? Maybe younger projects are just better. Indeed, if you recall the top frameworks from the beginning of the video, you'll see that Node.js comes first. So why not use that? The fact is that each of the frameworks have different functionality and focus. In addition to the names already mentioned, there's also jQuery, Inferno.js, Preact, Ember.js, and others. And while some of them can replace each other, they're still traditional options for specific tasks. Therefore, already at the project's planning stage, which frameworks are helpful is decided. And fortunately, React is almost always at the top of the list. Do you want to know more about the behind the scenes part of the developer work? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure to support us by leaving comments and liking this video. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations weekly, so make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.